here we are in the deserts of southern New Mexico looking for Oryx. Cody's already out here looking for an older age class bull. like to see one within 35 to 40 inches. First one I harvested was 34 or 35, can't really remember. Second one was a broken horn, big bull. His horns weren't broken, he would have been massive, but just want a nice solid Oryx that uh, we can all get on together and have a good time, fill the freezer up with meat, and uh, move on to the next hunt. Well, we crossed a nasty drainage on foot because washed the whole road out. So we're gonna pop a hill and do some glassing. It's getting pretty late. So we'll just try to see if we can catch something moving for tomorrow morning or if they're close enough, make a play tonight. Well, we found an Oryx. The only problem is he's a couple of miles on the missile range, which is a little disappointing, but we know they're out here. So we're going to see if we can find one on this side of the fence. And if we do, it's showtime. So me and Gavin are glassing up some Oryx this morning. We'll see if uh, sun's just coming up, so we'll see if we can see some moving, maybe from some tanks or anything like that. I got tricked out there. I was glassing with my little binos. See some movement, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Look through the swallows, just a bunch of bees. <laughs> Got all excited there for a sec. Well, Celso, one of my coworkers, is with us today, and he spotted an oryx. So we're gonna go make a play and see if we can put him down. Sideways, he doesn't look bad. Okay, let's get him. He's not bad. I mean, he's not as big as. Try to range bad. him. Try to range him while he's standing up here. Oh, I just lost him. We can crawl up on him. He's taking off. He's running. Yeah. You see you. So. Well, the orcs gave us the slip. Not really. Not really. Yeah, there was one that I didn't want to shoot. He, uh, it's a little small. And the second one that we found, he looked a lot better, but uh, couldn't, find him. couldn't find him. But we know where he's at, so we're going to move around a little bit. And, we know exactly uh, where he's at, but we still can't find him. <laughs> we're going to get on some high ground and glass him down. First weekend of oryx hunting has come to a close. We just got done chasing a really nice bull. And, and by chasing, we were only within <laughs> 2,000 yards of him. Um, but it was fun, and it, he was a big guy. So It was we'll it was a good spot. Weekend. I mean, Nick found him from far. We got to size him up and then try to make a play on him. And it's just so flat out here. And, when you, and you think it's flat, like perfectly flat. And you're trying to find markers so you can show each other where he's at. But when you move 100 yards, 200 yards, a mile down the road, all those little drops, it just, it changes everything. You can't tell where he was. The yeah. oryx can sneak off into those drops. That's how we lost one yesterday. But we're finding him. We found within two days, two good shooters. Uh, we got really close to one yesterday. Yeah. Today we couldn't make it happen, but we're happy that we know they're here. Well, we got some company this morning. We have two vehicles out here so we're not alone and cody and cody is out here this weekend but 
That doesn't bother us. We're going to use it to our advantage. Let them push some Oryx to us. And uh, hopefully get one spotted here in a little bit and make a play. Well, Nick spotted an Oryx. So we're throwing a stock. Wind's working right to left. It's time to get him down. We were given the slip, walked a few miles to try to get on an oryx. Nick spotted and we just lost him, but we found a pretty good glassing area. Planning to get the spotting scope up here and spend some time waiting for one to pop up. Well, I spotted an oryx. It's what, 700? Yeah, it's 700 yards. So I'm gonna go make a play, I'm a little shaky. Adrenaline starting to pump. I'm ready to go. Get him, get him again, get him again. Lay, he's laying there, get him. That was a two hour stock. Oh. That was a good shot. He got up, I think. Well, I just took a shot on an Oryx. And I rolled him, but I couldn't get a second shot off. These things are tough and I've had to make two shots on them every time I've harvested one and I wanted to get a second shot because he was kicking and I didn't have an angle so we're going to give him some time where I'm already on the blood trail and then we're going to go find him. So Cody's going to come meet us with the packs right now and then uh, we'll go after him. Yeah. 
is going down. Yeah, she was laying her head down, or he. Well, after having to back out of the tracking last night, I uh, wasn't feeling too good, very sick to my stomach, didn't get much sleep last night. Decided to hit it hard this morning, and we got back on him, or her, haven't identified it yet, and we put it down. So <laughs> it was a roller coaster ride of emotions, that's for sure, but we got the job done. We got a nice Oryx. Um, now we've got a have fun packing it out. We're pretty far from the truck. It's it's going to be a long rest of the day, but really excited that we got one down, man. I'm I'm just really relieved that we found him. Here's my 2022 New Mexico off-range Oryx. Um, this was a public land hunt, um, one that I was really looking forward to. And uh, we were working really hard for this Oryx right here. Um, spotted him yesterday with Nick and Cody. Threw a two hour stock, got a shot at 90 yards, dropped him, couldn't get another shot. And he got up and ran. And we tracked him last night and had to back out it got dark and um, had some other things happen last night along the way but uh, this morning we came out found the blood trail followed him got another shot in and put it down so uh, really relieved that it's over and we have successfully harvested this animal and uh, finished the job I uh, was sick to my stomach thinking about it but pretty relieved that it's over now and uh, now the fun comes got to cut him up and pack him out so Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did because uh, these are some pretty unique animals and uh, you don't get to hunt them every day, especially here in North America. So very happy with this one right here.